Okay guys, just got down to the hole. It's about 7.30 and uh, 28 degrees. And we're gonna catch some trout. They just stocked this about three days ago. And uh, they put some tanks in there. There's, uh, there's some big fish in there. Rainbows and browns both, but um, yeah. Let's make it happen. This place can get crowded sometimes. Usually if you get down here early enough. There's, uh, there's nobody here yet. But uh, if you're from the area, you know the hole. But uh, it just, it produces. So. We'll probably pull a few out of here and then head downstream. I don't think they've moved too much since they stocked them. But, uh, we'll see. Rainbow, stocked rainbow, about 12 inches, 13 inches. Had a hook stuck in his mouth, got that out for him, so send him on his way.
Nice brown trout. Beautiful color. He's got these nice red spots on him. Good looking fish. Let's get him back in. Just chill it. These fishes are cold. The take is so soft sometimes you don't even see it. And then other ones will turn on it and it's like a freight train. So. And this spot used to be a lot different. All these trees never used to be on the ground. Used to drift this whole shoreline right here, just all the way down. But a uh, couple rains we had, high winds, just kept coming in, and tree after tree had fallen down. See what this does. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna be tough to get a net on this guy. Wow. Oh, my net's frozen. Oh no, not a good time. Oh dear. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes, look at that fucking fish. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. That is where it's at. Right on the... Wow, guys. Look at that fish. Pulled him right out of that hole. This is, without a doubt, the biggest fish I've ever pulled out of here. Unbelievable. This guy is an absolute tank. Easy, bud. Easy. Easy, bud. Easy. Yes, sir. Look at this. I might put a measuring tape on him. He's at least 15. It's just heavy, heavy trout. Look at that. Very cool. Love it. Mwah. I'm gonna get back. I'm back in. It's cold. Let's get a good one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Easy one. You're going back in. You're going back in. You're going back in. Okay. Right back to his home. Pulled it out of that, guys, right there. So, don't be scared to get up against a tree. I mean, yeah, you might lose a rig, but was that worth it or what? I have this magnet thing for my net. Quick release. 
works great in the summertime. Winter time, it freezes and my net gets stuck to the magnet, can't get the net off. But we're gonna make it work. Let's try to flip it in there one more again. Now look, I'm right up against that tree. But hopefully a fish grabs it. Let it sit there a little bit. And it's nice little dead water right here. So it gives my flies a chance to sit there. They're cold. It sits in front of their face. They can take it or not. And there we go. Oh. Oh, he broke me right off. Crap. Never liked doing that. But it's another thing with rubbing up against these trees. I probably should have changed that out. And that wouldn't have happened. Barbless hooks. Hopefully that'll fall right out of there. If not, he's got a cool little nose ring for his uh, for his buddies. And two different flies I got on here. I got one wrapped with copper. I don't know if you can see it. He's got a little copper body wrap, and then underneath of him putting one without a copper wrap, just a natural olive. And uh, they've taken both so far today. There you go. Like a little baby brown. That is a dark fish. Nice dark little brown. Hey buddy. I got him in the eye. Oh boy. Sorry buddy. And barbless hook. So comes right out. A little damage. That is a dark trout. I've never seen one like that. A little dark brown. Later, buddy. It's a good one. Nice brown. Lazy. But he's trying, he's cold. Oh, that's a pretty one. Pretty brown. See the hook right there on the tip of his nose. Pulls right out. Pretty one, guys. This pretty brown chap. Buttery. Real butter belly. So I'm going home. Right, 
Let's see if we can get one more out of here before we call it a day. Wasn't recording. Looked into a nice brown. Beautiful brown trout. Hey guys. So as I was catching that last fish, the GoPro died. Unfortunate, but still got a good couple fish on film. Um, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you wanna see. And uh, stay tuned, because there's definitely more coming.